Hi, I'm Aaron Crawford again with Brower Mechanical, your energy solutions experts, and today I want to talk to you about whole house fans. If you think about it, a whole house fan is a very, very simple concept. We take all that hot air that's in your home, we throw it up into your attic, and we take all that cool air that's outside and we bring it into your house. It makes it more comfortable, offsets your air conditioning usage. It's kind of a win-win situation. So there's two times during the day when you really want to utilize a whole house fan. The first time is in the morning. So think about it. You wake up, you have that cooler outdoor air. Inside, it's semi-comfortable. What we want to do is we want to take all that cool air that's outside, we want to bring it into the house. And what that's going to do is actually lower your temperature a little bit. It's going to allow your air conditioning system, your central air system, to run later in the day. So if it's running later in the day, that's less hours, more affordable for you guys. In the evening, it's kind of the exact opposite. So in the evening time, this attic area gets very, very hot. So even though the temperature outside might be cooler, what that does is that attic temperature will actually infiltrate into your home, causing the livable area to be very uncomfortable. So you turn on an, a whole house fan, it takes that cool outside air, brings it into your home, takes that uncomfortable temperature in your house, throws all that air up into the attic, and it's very, very comfortable in your home. So what it does is it's a pre-air conditioning system, but it also eliminates uh, the, the runtime on your air conditioning system in the evening time um, due to the extreme temperatures in your attic. So it's a pretty, pretty easy concept. So the benefits, again, are number one, it offsets your air conditioning usage. Listen, utility rates are going up. If we can eliminate or offset your air conditioning usage by investing in a whole house fan, it's a huge win for, for you guys. Number two, it lowers your operation cost. When we think about operation cost on a whole house fan versus operation cost on an air conditioning system, it's like night or day. So we're talking about a 110 volt appliance versus a 220 volt appliance. So definitely gonna lower your utility bills or offset the air conditioning cost. Installation, simple. Usually it just takes a few hours to install a whole house fan. A very, very affordable, just a fraction of the cost of central heating and air. And then as far as rebates, there's incentives out there. pg and &E is going to give you money if you live in the SMUD uh, district. They're also going to give you money as well to offset that cost. So follow me over here. I actually have one here on display. This right here is what we call a Tamarack whole house fan. So this right here would actually be up in your attic. This here kind of, I guess, symbolizes what the livable area would be in your home. So this would be the home here. This would be up in your attic. So there is a couple drawbacks, though, on a whole house fan. And the first one really is... Think about it. Why do we want to cut a hole in your in your hallway um, that releases or allows all that hot attic temperature to infiltrate the livable area? Remember, we're trying to keep your house nice and tight. We're trying to condition the air, try to make you comfortable. So most whole house fans, you got this big two foot by two foot opening right into the attic. So that 140 degree attic temperature, what that's going to do? That's just going to come on into the house, cause everything to run a lot longer. So the whole house fan that we use actually has R38 or insulated pads that keeps it a nice tight seal when your whole house fan isn't being used. We're keeping a tighter home. Remember, a tighter home means it's easier to condition. So the number one thing with whole house fans, do not get one unless it has insulated pads on top. And this is R38 pads here. Another, I guess, drawback for whole house fans is we have to open up your house. We have to open up windows, so you have to manually do that. But when we open up your home, we're taking outside air and we're bringing it into your home. So if you have problems with like indoor air quality or allergies or, or things like that, ask yourself that question, do I want to bring outside air in to, to make my life a little bit more comfortable? So if you're suffering from allergies, it might not work out uh, too good for you guys. So let me turn this one on here. This Tamarack whole house fan here comes with a remote control. It's very, very easy to use. And you can see when I start to turn this on, these insulated pads actually open up kind of like a butterfly. Okay, this is, has two speeds. And once this thing kicks on, it's going to start pulling all that air. Again, I have the windows open outside, so all that outside cool air is going to be coming through here into the livable area and dumping all that heat up into the attic. And this thing's going to click on here in just a second. These things are very, very quiet. Like I said, very affordable, easy to put in. But you can see these insulated pads, what a huge difference that actually makes, okay? So this is basically what a whole house fan is. Um, oh, one more thing on whole house fans is make sure you have proper attic ventilation. 
very, very important. If I'm taking all that hot air from your home and I'm putting it up into the attic, we want your attic to breathe. We don't want to increase the temperature of your attic, uh, of your attic space. We want to relieve the temperature of your attic space. Remember, a hot attic is a hot home. A cool attic is a cool home. These are Whole House fans. My name is Aaron Crawford. Thank you and have a great day.